So Deion Sanders strikes again. Deion Sanders strikes again. This time he got us, guys. He got us. He got us. It is what it is. He got us. But JSU, they 3 0 against Florida State, ain't he? Have a game! Have a game, baby! Let's go! Yo, so I'm here with my boy Garcia, the future of the Miami Hurricanes. Mark my word, I said that. What's going on? Go Kane. Yes, so all day, every day. All right, guys, so let's talk a little bit about the positives before we get into the negative stuff that you guys really want to talk about. I know you guys want to talk about Kevin Coleman, but let's talk about a cane first. Let's talk about a cane. Let's talk about Cyrus Moss. Cyrus Moss chose the University of Miami over Alabama, over USC, Arizona State, and um, Oregon. So during his, um, you know, conference talk or whatever the interview why he chose miami basically mario cristobal mario cristobal mario cristobal mario cristobal yes basically he said he didn't know much about miami mario cristobal had to you know inform him and basically convince him to come to miami he didn't know much about miami apparently you know that's exactly what mario cristobal did because he chose the university of miami now from what he's saying, Mario Cristobal sold him the vision for Miami to turn this place around, to be a part of the, the change in culture, the change in the University of Miami, to be one of those forefronts of it. So, you know, shout out to Mario Cristobal, you know, <laughs> elite recruiter. What can we say? No doubt about it. Um, Shout out to Mario Cristobal. Shout out, shout out to the D-line coach that's going to be working with him, um, Joe Salave, hey, let's get to work. Oh, I'm sorry, Smalls. Appreciate you, man. Hey, Canes all day. It is what it is. Um, Kevin Coleman, of course. Kevin Coleman, of course. Um, second guy today with a Miami hat on the table. And unfortunately for us, he didn't choose the University of Miami. But me personally, I'm not mad at the kid. And here's why. Um, this year, we saw Deion Sanders did some great things at you know JSU I've watched Deion Sanders I've watched Deion Sanders live with you guys we've wa actually watched JSU games during the spring of last season you know when they shifted their season or whatever and I saw what he was doing there and I said you know what what he's doing for HBCU is awesome it's going to turn into something great and right now we see it you have Right now you have JSU made a bowl game this season. Unfortunately, they lost that. They, they got molly whopped in that. That, that. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. But um, 12, 12 and 2, if I'm not mistaken, won the, um, the conference championship. You know, that's, second, that's Dion's second year. Won their conference championship. And um, then shocked the world, of course. Travis Hunter um, was a Florida State lock all year. Didn't even want to visit other schools. Didn't want to talk to nobody. Um, Georgia tried to get in there, tried to get visits out of them, try to, you know, see if they could get in on the action. Nope, he wouldn't wouldn't pay them no attention. Um, signing day comes around, all the Florida State stuff that was on his page disappear, and boom, Deion shocks the world. Um, Travis Hunter to Florida State. No, JSU, JSU. So, Florida State fans in the rage, they're on Twitter. Dion ain't no good. He sucks. They burning his jersey. He ain't a Florida State guy. He ain't welcome in Tallahassee, blah, 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 blah. They crying like a bunch of girls with their, um, with their panties hurting and whatever. And boom, here we are today. Okay, so fourth quarter of the game, of course, last commitment of the day, um, Kevin Coleman. Now, on the table, you got hats of the Miami Hurricanes. You got um, Florida State, of course. Um, what's the other one? Um, Oregon and um, JSU. 
And at that moment, when I saw that JSU hat, I knew shit was fishy. I knew, I knew something was up. Now, top three, Florida State, Miami, Oregon. JSU was nowhere in the picture. So when I saw that hat on the table, I was like, ah, oh, damn, here we go. Now, he chose JSU, put out the, the jacket, put on the hat, and boom, there it is. Decision made. Now, I'm glad, I'm glad he didn't do us the way he did Florida State and Georgia. Well, not him, um, Travis Hunter. Cause we've seen Travis Hunter grab that Florida State hat and threw that bit like a helicopter. That bit was spinning like a helicopter, bit. That's, bro, I thought it was one of them, you know them helicopter that be and then it got like the two missiles that go boom. Yeah, I thought, it, <laughs> that's, that's the kind of throw that he did with the hat for <laughs> Florida State. So, Kevin Coleman ain't throw no hat, you know, he ain't, ain't do us no dirt or whatever, this and that. So, it is what it is. We ain't get, we ain't get the Travis Hunter treatment. You know, it is what it is. Um, he chose Jackson, Jackson State, man. HBCU. He, that's where he's going, guys. I mean, I would have loved to have him here at Miami. I mean, had he had chosen Florida State over Miami, I, this would have been a totally different video. I'd have been pissed. I'd have been mad. I, I wouldn't have called him trash. I wouldn't have said he's a bad player. I wouldn't have said he's not that good because clearly I'd be stupid to say that. If you watch the kids tape, if you watch the kids highlights, the kid is phenomenal. Whether he would have went to Florida State or wherever he went. So let's, Kings fans, I know some of y'all are ignorant. Yes, I said it. Some of y'all are ignorant. I know some of y'all are crazy, so y'all gonna say the kid weren't no good, we ain't need him anyway, blah, 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 this, then, the third. We all wanted him. It is what it is. If you didn't want him, then oh well, we ain't get him anyway. So, it is what it is. The kid is, <laughs> just because the kid didn't choose Miami does not change the fact that he's still a good. It is what it is. He just ain't pick us. It is what it is. Just leave it alone. Hey, man. Congratulations, Deion Sanders. What you're doing for um, HBCUs is phenomenal. Um... Ed Reed, guys like Ed Reed, he's had offers for head coaching jobs at places like, you know, was it Grum Grumbling? Something like that. Um, I know he, I don't know if he want to take those kind of jobs, but I think, I think a guy like Ed Reed would be great for HBCU. He would be great. You, HBCU needs. HBCU needs that that extra push. Not just what Dion is doing. Not just what um Eddie George is doing at um Tennessee State. But if they could have some more guys like a Ed Reed, Marsha Fault, and those kind of guys that come in and coach those teams and get some high quality, you know, recruits to come to those school like what Dion is doing at JSU. Sky's the limit for um, HBCU. They could actually be brought to the forefront of college football, and some of those teams could actually start competing for meaningful things, whatever whatever it is that you call meaningful in college football. But, hey, man, at the end of the day, Cyrus Moss, my guy, welcome to the U. Love that you're a U family member now. Hey, let's get to work. Mario Cristobal is brewing up something great when it comes to this recruiting class, whether it's on the recruiting trail or – on the um, transfer portal. We'll see what we have. We'll see what we, we're we going to lose on the team, and we'll move on from there. But, hey, congratulations to you also, Kevin Coleman. Go be great at um, JSU. It is what it is. Go Kings. Oh!